Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an essential tutorial for all UPFSense users out there. We're going to walk you through the process of backing up and restoring your PFSense configuration. This is crucial for safeguarding your settings and ensuring smooth operations. So, let's dive right in. Before we get started, let's briefly discuss why it's crucial to back up your PFSense configuration. Having a backup ensures that your network settings, rules, and configurations are secure and can be restored in case of hardware failure, accidental changes, or emergencies. It allows for a quick and seamless recovery process, minimizing downtime and potential disruptions to your network. Once logged in, navigate to the Diagnostics menu and select Backup, Restore. The backup area is the section within the PFSense web interface dedicated to tasks associated with creating backups. This section offers a user-friendly platform for overseeing configuration files, encompassing all the settings, rules, and configurations for your PFSense firewall. Within this area, you have the option to either create a comprehensive backup of all settings or selectively choose specific areas. Personally, I prefer to opt for a complete backup rather than selecting specific segments. In PFSense, you have the option to exclude installed packages from the configuration backup process. This can be useful if you want to create a clean backup of your core configuration without including any third-party packages or extensions. If you have Squid Proxy installed, for instance, it won't be included in the backup. By enabling the Skip Packages option, you ensure that your configuration backup only includes the core settings, rules, and configurations of PFSense without any information related to installed packages. This can be helpful if you want to keep your backup file lean and focus solely on essential configurations, but I recommend to just leave it unticked unless you have to. The Skip RRD Data option in PFSense Backup allows you to exclude the RRD which stands for Round Robin Database Data from the backup process. RRD files store historical data and statistics used by various monitoring and reporting features in PFSense. By selecting this option, you can create a backup that doesn't include this historical data, which can be useful if you want to reduce the size of the backup file or if you plan to restore the configuration on a different system where the historical data may not be relevant. At home, I choose not to include them in my backups since they aren't necessary for me. However, in a corporate setting, it's advisable to consider backing them up. The Include Extra Data option in PFSense Backup allows you to include additional data in the backup process. This setting determines whether the backup file will encompass additional optional data, such as captive portal databases and DHCP lease databases. Enabling the Include Extra Data option gives you the flexibility to incorporate specific files or directories that may be crucial to your configuration but are not part of the standard setting. This empowers you to create a comprehensive backup that caters to your unique requirements. By default, this option is unchecked, meaning that this extra data is excluded from the backup. This is because including it can significantly inflate the size of backup files. The Backup SSH Keys option in PFSense allows you to include secure shell SSH keys in the configuration backup. SSH keys are cryptographic keys that provide a secure way to authenticate to a remote server or device, ensuring secure communication. Enabling this option ensures that your SSH keys are included in the backup file. This is important if you have custom SSH keys configured on your PFSense device for secure remote access. This way, you can ensure that your secure communication credentials are preserved in case you need to restore your PFSense configuration on a different device or after a reset. The encryption option in PFSense Backup allows you to secure your configuration file with a passphrase, ensuring that the backup can only be restored by someone who knows the passphrase. Enabling encryption is particularly important if you have sensitive information in your PFSense configuration. This feature adds an extra layer of security, ensuring that even if someone gains access to your backup file, they won't be able to restore it without the correct passphrase. When you are done choosing what you want to backup and other options you can click on the download configuration as XML. XML stands for Extensible Markup Language. It is a versatile, text-based data format that is both human-readable and machine-understandable. In the case of PFSense, using XML as the download file format for configuration backups ensures that the data is stored in a structured, standardized, and portable format. This makes it easy for administrators to manage, review, and restore configurations, as well as integrate with other systems if needed. On the Restore Backup, you can choose an area to restore for example DHCP only or you can restore everything. 
You can then browse to your XML file that you backed up. Tick the encryption box, enter your password and hit restore. The PFSense will reboot after restoring the configuration. After a reboot, you will be back to your old config. If you want to reinstall system packages you can click on the reinstall packages button. The config history tab in PFSense backup and restore is used to view and manage historical versions of the configuration file. It provides a detailed log of previous configurations, along with timestamps, making it easy to track changes and revert to a specific configuration if needed. Overall, the Config History tab is a powerful tool for maintaining the integrity and stability of your PFSense firewall by providing a way to track, manage, and revert to previous configurations when necessary. Read the instruction in the blue text on how to view the difference between an older configuration and a new one. You can see what has actually changed from the file that opens. And there you have it, folks. You've now learned how to backup and restore your PFSense configuration, ensuring the safety of your network settings and minimizing downtime in case of any unexpected events. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tips. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.